Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Delta inverter. This is an RPI Home uh, H5A inverter. And it's coming up with an error grid. Have a look on the screen here. It's just gone for a startup mode. And the red alarm light's coming on and you see A29 relay open. Now, if your inverter's coming up with Oh, we also got grid volt over rating as well here. So if your inverter is coming up with the relay open, it's telling us that an internal relay in the inverter, which is which is a part of the electronics inside the inverter, has actually uh, is not working correctly. So the one thing you can try and do is try and do a whole reboot of the system. And uh, so we'll just show you how to do that. It's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure, which should be something like this. You turn off the solar supply main switch, which is located in your switchboard or the inverter AC isolator. You may or may not have an inverter AC isolator. In this case, we've got one here. So we just throw that off. And then we turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter, which will be this one over here. And so we, we do that, and in a few moments, the inverter will shut down altogether, or go completely bank, blank. You see it's now coming, oh, there we go. Totally dead, and we'll just leave it for a few seconds, and then we'll try a reboot. So the reboot procedure is nowhere near as important as a shutdown procedure. So we just need to turn everything on. So we'll throw the DC back on, and we'll throw the AC back on as well. Well, that could be the solar supply main switch in your switchboard. And now it takes a, a little while for the inverter to start up again there. So we'll just go through a bit of a startup procedure here, which will take a, a couple of minutes. And what it'll actually do is start doing, uh, start going through a countdown procedure. So you see there, it's, it's got 42 seconds to start up. So if your uh, inverter is coming up with this relay open uh, fault, and you have tried to do the reboot, and you're still getting the issue, it is something which uh, Delta will cover under warranty. So if your inverter is installed within the warranty, is it was still within the warranty period which is usually for five years for these uh, Delta RPI home inverters, then you certainly can make a warranty claim. What you will need is the details off the data sheet off the side of the inverter. So you need to know the model, RPI H5A in this case, and the serial number of the inverter as well, and you will need some proof of purchase. Now we're just gonna go back to the main screen here. We're just going through the countdown, so we'll see what it comes up with now. So you can actually hear those relays inside the inverter trying to click in. Uh, it's come up with the alarm light again and A29 relay open. So this is an internal fault with the inverter. Trying to real reboot hasn't fixed anything at all. So it is going to have to be uh, sorted out under warranty with Delta. So look, uh, I hope that uh, has been helpful for you. If you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland and need any help with uh, your Delta inverter, don't hesitate to get in contact with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We're happy to help. Thanks very much for watching.